oh my gosh okay so you guys i am so excited to share this brand i love it so so much and if you couldn't tell by this lovely burning candle here this is a brand that makes uh candles <laughs> clearly and all these boxes are ones that i'm gonna share with you which are my favorites but they also make fragrance yeah they're just incredible and i don't know about you guys but i'm one of those people that First of all, I spray perfume on everything. So like I freaked out today because I left the house and I was like, I texted my friend who I was meeting and I'm like, I forgot to wear perfume. <laughs> so I don't know. I just feel like perfume is like that final piece of your outfit, that final little bit of your personality that you're sort of injecting into the space. And so I love perfume. I'm pretty picky. I normally only use the Beauty Pie Love perfume, which I talked about in my Beauty Pie video is one of like the top things that I recommend. Or I will wear um, Tam Dao, Diptyque, and the reason I actually fell into this brand was because I was looking for sort of a high quality Diptyque-like fragrance brand, but without the Diptyque price. Because I love Diptyque, but for 80 plus dollars a candle, sometimes you don't always want to burn them because you feel like they're too precious. But these candles are just the right price point where they smell incredible and I mean, they're definitely still an investment for say a candle or for a perfume, but they smell incredible. The quality is just as good. If not, frankly, I love the candle scents better than Diptyque. I feel like Diptyque, I have one scent that I'm obsessed with and all the other scents I'm like, they're fine. They're fine. But uh, Mason Louise Marie, I have so many scents that I love. So let's jump into it first with the perfume. So it all started with a candle. In fact, the one that I'm burning right now is actually the number four. The, I won't even say it, Bouise, or I will, <laughs> the Bouise de Balincourt. I cannot speak French, I'm sorry. The top notes are of sandalwood, cedarwood. The mid notes are vetiver, nutmeg, cinnamon, and the base notes are amber and wood. Oh my god, it smells so good. And look at this beautiful packaging. It just comes in it's so beautiful. I love this size. Ugh, it just smells. It's like ugh, the best perfume. Oh, it smells so freaking good. And I love their minimal packaging. So look how clean and gorgeous. Like this is something that's going to go with any kind of decor, just any anything you have you can have it out on your bathroom you can have it on your nightstand i just think their branding is genius all of their candles look like this so they just have the tiny little branding and then the rest is completely white which i love i i will say i really like the beauty pie candles but i hate that they have writing on the candle like i just want a clean gorgeous neutral candle that i can put in my house and I just think their branding absolutely does that. You have the tiny little Miss and Louise Marie, but it's it's very simple other than that. So yeah, the number four personally is my favorite scent ever. It's, it's just a mixture of being like with that sandalwood and cedarwood, but it's not woody if that makes sense. Like there's fragrances that can sometimes smell a little too manly, but this, oh, I think it's, yeah, that like, soft gentle wood that's been like soaked in a floral bit i don't know i'm clearly not a fragrance master but i love number four it's the bomb uh i think they come i think they have like little roller kits little test kits potentially i'll link i'll link all of this down below but i think you can test them out so you can see if you like them for yourself because i know scent can be hard to order online but this is another scent that Oh, so speaking of more woody, <laughs> this one's woodier. And this is the number two Le Long Fond. And this one definitely is more of like a candle that I would get for my dad or a boyfriend and you could have in like your, you know, study while you're drinking a peaty scotch, you know. It's kind of got that vibe to it, and I'm not sure exactly what the undertones are of this because they don't have the box, but that is definitely more of a masculine, I would say, smell, not to gender, gender that scent, but it does kind of smell like that. And then this one is actually their new holiday scent. So I got two of these because I'm a freak and I 
was excited about ooh, their new holiday scent. Oh, that's so cute. There's a little story. This limited edition holiday candle encapsulates the holiday season, evoking scents of a warm and cozy fire within a deep, within a can, within a cabin deep in the Swiss Alps. Oh, it pays homage to Marie's great-great-grandfather, a Belgian scientist and inventor who developed a passion for nature and exploration. So cute. Imagine that upon lighting the candle, being transported to a cabin in the Alps and taking in the warmth of the fire before preparing to ascend to the top of the Matterhorn. Happy holidays from Mason Louise Marie. Yeah, this, okay, so if we're ranking these, um, number four has under scents of amber wood. This has a little bit more scent, still some amber in it. This is the number two. And then this is not a number because it's their special holiday edition, but it is the Le Refuge de Ernest. And that is like, that actually smells like a straight up fire. I was kind of, <laughs> I love Christmas, so I was kind of hoping it'd be a little more Christmassy, but. But it does smell like I could see when I have the house like decorated for Christmas, having this like just really nice wood burning kind of scent as I have a fake fire crackling on my TV. Sounds like a good New York winter. So if you like a very, very fiery urine smell, you can try that. And then if, you do, if you're not into the fire and or any of those scents, Oh my god, these are amazing as well. So this one is probably my second favorite. Well, I don't know, man. Okay, I think number two and number 10 are tied. I, number four is my favorite. Number two and number 10 are tied. Number 10 is called Abacure. Oh, okay, and Abacure tells me on the box. Is uh, the top scents are lemon, nutmeg, eucalyptus. Mid scents are carnation, amber, jasmine. Base scents are patchouli, cedarwood, and vetiver. Okay, so I'm noticing a trend. I think I'm very into cedarwood and vetiver. Those are in both of those. So yeah, oh, that just is great. So yeah, Abacor is another big joy of mine. None of these are particularly florally, and I think that's why I love them. So for reference, if you're wondering what my favorite diptyque candle is, one second. Okay. So this is my favorite diptyque scent, other than Tam Dao, but Tam Dao doesn't come in a candle, which is very sad. So, Boy Cree, Boqueros. Oops. Um, this is my favorite one, and this is very, kind of similar vibes to all of these. So this is why I think I love this brand so much is because they have such a variety of non on your nose sort of floral scents. This is like, they're very creative in the scents and it probably could be because they've been creating these candles since 19, wait, 1792. Wow. Yeah, creating these candles since 1792, 92, which is crazy. And so this is the final one. Oh, so this one, if you are in the mood for a more floral-esque, and this one actually has a flower on it. So I take back what I said about them all being blank, but this one has a flower on it. And this is, this is on the bottom, an Antidris Jasmine. Oh, and these are all hand poured in California, which is great. So made in the USA, very nice. The top scents of this one are Italian orange, the mid scents are jasmine, tuberose, and the base is white musk and oak moss. This definitely has a very, yeah, obviously jasmine, but almost hydrangea, lily type smell to it. Did I say lilies are in there? Because, man, they sure smell like lilies. Hmm, I don't know, but really be lovely. This is probably more of like a spring candle, I will say. So I will be saving that for the springtime, more than likely. But these others are just fantastic. Number four, number two, and number 10. 
for sure. Highly recommend this incredible brand. I can't believe they've been around since 1792. That's insane. Well, I love them and I'm glad that I could share them with you and I hope you get a kick out of them. If you have a scent from this brand that you like that I haven't talked about, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to get it and try it out. I do not need any excuse to buy a candle. <laughs> so I will see you all in the next video.